What's up guys, so Mr. Cherries here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an advanced GUI including using sounds well, within the local script or somewhat or script. Oh no, well we're going to be using a local script this time. So get your Roblox Studio up as I said from last time in my Tycoon tutorial. So get that up and then we're going to go into edit mode. Alright, so my again sorry for the shitty quality of the camera. Or pre uh, desktop presentation kind of kind of like thing from my Cyberlink UCAM f software. <laughs> All right, so now we're we're gonna start off making a GUI. Well, some of you may think, well, duh. Well, yeah, we are gonna make a GUI. So what you're gonna need to do is that we're gonna where's this? Yeah, start a GUI. We're gonna uh, right click this, insert basic object, and then we're gonna find the screen GUI which is this and then we're going to name it welcome GUI so we, so we name that and then we're going to go on here right click insert basic object and frame so we're going to keep it as frame and then we're going to uh, position it and resize it so you need to get properties up and yeah you also need your workspace so um, get, get those two up and then in properties you'll have to change the position and the size so um, the position we're gonna do, hmm, we're gonna do six hundred by four hundred. Well, actually, actually, that's position. Sorry. So the size six hundred by four hundred, and then we're gonna change the position to um three hundred. Something like that. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to keep this in the middle. So. Yeah, there. Oh, fuck it up. Excuse my language, guys. So, yeah, there we go. So, the position is 400 by 200. It's going to be said on the screen right here so that you'll get what I mean by that. Like, like this bit here, you just you just put in a decimal point, like 0 0.1 or something, or 0 0.4, something like that. But right now, we're going to do, in, do it in hundreds. Pretty easy, though. So now we're gonna we're gonna make it look beautiful. So we're gonna make this black, the background color free. Then we'll make the border color to white. And then the transparency of the background, we're gonna change it to free. There we go. Now we're gonna add in a text box. So as I said, so you left click on this thing, right click, insert basic object, and then you go into text box. There we go. So now we're going to resize it to so so um the first bit we're gonna do zero point nine then this and this one we're gonna do forty. Oh sh silly you silly me. So I've got oh. I'm sorry guys, I'm messing up here. So yeah, um so take two hundred out, we're gonna do 0.9 and we're going to do 40 there we go and then this bit here we're going to put in a close button so in the text box so let's change it to blue make it look nice change the blue border color we'll make it white make that white and then we're going to uh, do the text so the text size we're going to do is 24 Arial, and now we're gonna make the text say "Welcome to my place" with an exclamation mark. So it looks all dark, so we'll make it a bit bright. So to fix that, go on the text, text color free, make it white. Bam! There we go. You just made your first GUI. Well, we're not finished yet though. So, so yeah, right click on this thing, insert basic object text button so now we're going to change the color of it oh shit that's the border color excuse my language again I always swear in my videos I'm sorry guys just what is wrong with me today so that's the background color make it red Got about the border color, make it white. Okay, now the text button. I I'm gonna make sure what I'm doing. Make this white. Yep. 
now we're going to change the size of it to right, 0 0.1 and then this one we're going to do 40 and yes it's gone but it's at the back of it so let's change the position to 0 0.9 so there we go then we're going to change this change the size to 20 we'll make it aerial size 24 then we'll make it an X which means close so there we did that Let's just make it bright again like I did to that text white and there made you UI so um in the frame you can add a text label for it so you could put in whatever you like though uh, except for uh, curse words in it <laughs> so yeah you can still get banned for putting in curse words so yeah now we're gonna put in a script so we'll add in a actually let's let's put in my sounds so like I kept my sounds in this workspace because because I can't be bar getting them in case you guys will be all bored and I'll be looking for sounds etc etc so I kept them in my workspace so put these in then we're gonna add a local script so click this one right click it insert basic object and then you find the L bit that is local script so there we have it now we're going to assign a couple of things so we're going to assign the sounds well first we have to, ins we have to assign the player so player now give me more time because I'll m I may find this hard doing it but watch me so we do player game dot players dot local player okay sound one we'll assign that sound one script dot parent dot sound my bad we'll assign sound one as s1 and s2 that's the other bit script dot parent sound Two. There we go, and then we'll assign the play button, but just a play button. So script dot parent dot frame dot play. Go, and then then the box. We'll assign box as well. That's going to be a frame. Script dot parent dot frame. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, it's not letting me press enter. There we go. So now we're going to make the first function which is going to be mouse enter play button then we put it in brackets because we don't want anything here as always now what I'm going to put in next we're going to put in the play dot mouse enter connect oh, and then we'll put in brackets the same thing right here mouse enter play button we put that in but don't put in the brackets. No, mouse enter play button. There we have it. So we just made the function, but we need to put in something what you want to add. So we're going to put in play dot font size. And then we're going to put in speech marks. So so we're, it wants you to choose what size you want the text to be when you mouse over the button. So what what is the size of our Wait, we, I need to name text button play. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot about that. So change that. Change the text button to play, and then it will assign that. So it's size twenty four. So we want to make it size forty eight. So there we go. And then we'll put in the sound, which will be the S one S one colon. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a colon you put in. So yeah, it's a colon. So you put an S1 colon play in brackets. In brackets, just don't put anything. So like that. Now next, we're going to make another function. And this is much more different. So function mouse left play button. And that's when if you if you um, uh, put your mouse cursor out of the box, then the um, X minimizes. So what I'll show you after I, we made the script. So put in play dot font size. Then make the size smaller to 24, what it says in our tech, uh, text button. And then, then we, could, we, we could put in S1 play. Yeah, something like that. And then remember this, 
we, we need to put in a thing which will, um, you know, catch it. I don't know. I'm not the best scripter anyways. So it's play dot mouse leave. Oh, colon connect. Mouse left play button. I'm just actually a beginner scripter, but I'm more of an enthusiast on it. So next we're going to do um, another function, well, which will be the last function. So play dot mouse button one down connect with a colon play game I'll put in a function play game in brackets or well, out brackets so we put in function play game brackets oh it's just my text message back there right so we need to add something up here let's press play false then what we'll do if has pressed play and two equals false then and then we'll add in the um sound s2 colon play brackets she don't need anything so put something down there Put in box colon remove brackets and there we go now let's go test it see if it works bam there we go guys we just made our first GUI so um um yeah hopefully it works for you guys so um remember go into Roblox Studio and make that GUI and then and do the script what I just did there. Well, in case if you can't see, then you can get out my models. I'll be making a model of that. So I'll put a link in the description to the model so that you guys can get and then do whatever you like with it. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you uh, find this video very legit, please give it a like. I love you guys. But if you find this video not legit, then screw you, asshole. <laughs> All right, see you later, guys. Adios.